Hi, my friend. It is so good to be with you today. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about creation. Do you know what creation is? I'll give you a hint. It's the world. It's the world and everything in it. And not just the world, but the whole universe. The stars and the sun and the moon and the sky and the wind and the trees and the plants. And it is all so very good. I'm going to put this here to remind us as we tell our story. Now there are some things in creation that aren't so good. There are mosquito bites that make us itch. There are stinky smells. And there are viruses which can make us very sick. And you may know about one virus called the coronavirus that right now is making people very sick and it can travel from one person's mouth and you may not even feel sick, but you may have it inside you and it can get onto another person and then make them very sick. And some people are even dying and we feel very sad about that. But you know what? Even though there are mosquito bites and stinky smells and viruses, God's creation is still so wonderful and so amazing. And I want to tell you a story about that. It's from the Bible, from Genesis 1. In the beginning, God's love bubbled over when there was nothing else. No trees, no birds, no animals, no sky, no sea, only darkness. Out of this love, God spoke. Let there be light. And there was day. And there was night. And when the first day was done, God smiled and knew that it was good. On the second day, God said, Let there be sky where the clouds can float and the wind can blow. And the sky was bright blue and beautiful. On the third day, God said, let the waters gather together into oceans and let the dry land appear. Now God decided to make the world even more dazzling with tall trees and long grass. And then the first flower opened in all its glory. On the fourth day, God said, let the sky be filled with the sun and the moon. And God scattered stars across the sky like sparkling diamonds. On the fifth day, God said, Let there be birds to fly and sing and fish to swim and splash. And the world was filled with the joyous sound of birdsong. On the sixth day, God said, Let there be animals elephants and giraffes, cats and mice, and bees and bugs. And suddenly the world was a very noisy place. But something was still missing. Then God said, I will make people, and I'll make them like me so that they can enjoy the earth and take care of it. God did just as God had said, and it was all so very, very Good. God looked at everything that he had made and clapped his hands together in the light. Isn't it wonderful? And on the seventh day, God laughed and embraced and enjoyed the glorious creation. The end. So even though there are mosquito bites and stinky smells and viruses, Creation is still so wonderful and so amazing. Because you know what? There aren't just viruses. There's also medicine to treat the virus. And people are working very, very hard. And they're going to find the medicine that treats the virus. And in the meantime, God's creation is working very hard to try to protect us. You know how? You know what this is? It's a mask. And when I put it over my face, it catches little bits of the virus. 
and keeps them from getting on other people and keeps them getting from other people onto me. You know what this mask is made of? Cotton. And you know what cotton is? It's a plant. So every time I put this mask on my face, it's like the plants are trying to protect me and catch the virus and say, you won't get her sick. And it's not just plants that are helping to protect us. The sun and the wind are also working to protect us. When we meet our friends and people that don't live in our house with us outside instead of inside, and we keep a little bit of distance, six feet of distance between us, you know what the sun does? It shines down on little bits of the virus and it goes pow, 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 and it makes the virus weak, weaker so that it isn't as strong to make people sick. And then the wind, the wind blows and blows and scatters the virus so that it can't get on people and make them sick. So creation is working hard to help protect us from the virus, but we have to work with it by being outside with our friends and keeping space between us so that the sun and the wind have a chance to fight the virus. So remember, even though sometimes things can be scary, even though sometimes we can be sad, the world is so wonderful. The world is so very good. And God, through creation, is working to take care of us. So we need to work to take good care of creation too. Let us close with a story, with a prayer that is on the same page as the story at the bottom in big letters. I invite you to read along with me or have a grown-up read along for you. Dear God, help me to enjoy and care for your beautiful earth. Amen. This story comes from the Children of God Storybook Bible by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Illustrations for today's story are by Kristen Abbott from the United States.